Hey, Gus, we got some crazy news. We got some crazy news. We got some crazy news. I can't believe this just happened. I'm so freaking excited to announce I just sold my marketing agency, Atlas Digital. If you want to know all the details, then keep watching this video. All right, so many of you guys don't know this, but this is one of the biggest announcements that I've ever made in my entrepreneurial journey. And over the past few months to even the past year, I've been in conversations with buyers and with my business partner at the marketing agency, and we've been considering selling. And at first we were both wanting to sell. And later on, it led to him wanting to buy me out. And as of last month, it is official and I sold. So if you're watching this video, I know this is kind of crazy, but I am no longer an equity partner in Atlas Digital. I no longer get paid. I no longer work with them. So I know that's crazy and mind blowing, but everything moving forward from here on out that you see from Atlas is totally and fully separate from me. And I'm finally making this big announcement. This is why I'm making this video. This is why I'm sharing this with you guys today. And it's pretty crazy. So first things first, you're probably wondering why did I sell and why why would I get rid of a business that was profitable, that was cash flowing, and that was paying me distributions every single quarter, even if I wasn't involved in the day-to-day, -day, especially after I've automated it? There's really three reasons why I decided to sell, and I'm gonna be fully open and honest with you guys. I'm gonna be real with you guys. One of the things that I care the most about my content in relation to you guys is really being real and honest and transparent. So I'm gonna do that today and deliver on that promise. So the biggest reason that I sold is because Marcos, my business partner, approached me and he said, Joel, you've been able to build a massive coaching company off of our agency. You're no longer involved in the day-to-day. -day. You're fully, 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 fully removed. And you don't really care to be in the day-to-day -day at all. And to be honest, he was right. And he said, Joel, I would love to either buy you out or you buy me out, or we find someone else to buy us out. But he said, it doesn't feel fair if I'm running everything and I've got my heart in it and you're over here building an entire company off of our agency, but no longer fully in the agency. And I thought that was really fair. I thought that was a fair request. And looking back, it taught me that business partnerships and really your expectations of what you're gonna do with your businesses, it's, it's open-ended, it's not predetermined. It's hard to say, I'm gonna build this business and I'm gonna sell it at this time to this person. It doesn't work in such black or white terms and it's actually much more gray. And I thought he was right. I thought that, uh, sorry, I wanted to make sure the audio was working, but uh, I thought he was right. It was a fair request. And about a year ago, that's when we started looking for buyers. I went through a whole pr process. We brought on a broker to help us sell the agency. After going through that entire process, not really finding the right person and spending a lot of time, quite honestly, with potential buyers and realizing it's not gonna be as simple to find someone as we maybe expected it to, Marco suggested that he just buy me out. And that's what we ended up doing. And uh, at the time that we sold, the business was still profitable. It would have still been a great investment for me to have and own, but I felt like it was the right thing to do to honor Marcos's request and sell him my equity, given the fact that I no longer was all in, given the fact that I was using this marketing agency to build my massive coaching business, which is where my heart is. And most importantly, I didn't wanna be involved and he did. So. That's probably the biggest reason why I sold. Felt like the right thing to do. I don't need the extra 20, 30, 40, 50 grand a month that it's bringing me fully from the profits. I and mean, it's really nice to have, of course, but ultimately my heart is with a coaching company. And that's really what I was, what I still intend to build and put all my energy on. So that's probably the biggest reason why I sold. Marcos and I came to the agreement that it was the best move and I wanted to honor his request and we tried to find a bunch of ways to work it out, but ultimately the best solution was me selling him my equity. Now there's two other reasons why I sold. The second reason was that I was not all in. And I truly believe that you must be all in if you want to win. So 
wasn't fair to myself that I was one foot in, one foot out. It wasn't fair to Marcos, my business partner. It wasn't fair to Atlas, the company. It wasn't fair to any of them and to myself. And it also wasn't fair to the team on my coaching company. And it wasn't fair to my business partners at the coaching company. And it wasn't fair to all of my clients in the coaching company that I was one foot in, one foot out. And I remember consulting with Alex Ramosi and he told me that he sold all of his gyms to go all in. And massive credit to Alex. He was actually one of the first people to plant the seed in my head that I should sell my agency and go all in on one business and focus. So the second reason why I decided to sell was because I wasn't all in. And I truly believe that if you want to win in this game and win big, you have to go all in and you have to do whatever it takes to make it happen. And that means letting go of something in order to have the time, the energy, the resources, the mental space to go all in on something else. So that was reason number two. Reason number three of why I sold was because at this point, I've started marketing agencies, scaled marketing agencies, and now I can say that I've sold marketing agencies. And I know that some of my clients that I coach are interested in selling their agency one day, even if they are fully automated, even if they are profitable. So now I can and confidently teach someone on how to do it because I've been through the process. I've done the due diligence. I've met with potential buyers. I've connected with a broker to help me out with the whole process. I had the lawyers draft up the paperwork. I've been through the whole thing. So now I can confidently teach it. So that was the, the three reasons, but really the biggest one came down to number one. It felt like the right thing to do. Marcos came to me with this request, he said, Joel, I want to go all in on this business. It feels like you're not all in. You've been able to build something amazing out of our marketing agency and that's where your heart is. So work with me here. And it felt like a genuine request. And first I was really hesitant. It's like, no, screw that. But over time I opened up to the idea and I realized long-term this feels like the right thing to do. So uh, probably you guys are wondering how much I sold it for. Unfortunately, I can't disclose. Uh, we both signed an NDA, keep those details undercover. So legally I am not allowed to share the specifics of the deal, what it, uh, encompasses, how much I made from the deal, et cetera, et cetera. All I can say is that it was a good deal. It was a win-win. I don't think either of us got the best deal where we were both like, wow. But I think we were both like, this feels fair. This feels like a win-win. We both have let go of some things, gained other things and uh, so forth. So I feel really happy with it. I uh, I know that, for example, there were other buyers that are were willing to offer more, but then Marcos would be stuck with a co-CEO or a COO. He didn't really know and that I have to essentially start over with. So we both uh, had to let go of a few things and then also we both gained a few things. At the end, we both felt like it was a fair agreement and uh, that's as much as I can say. So with that in mind, as far as what's next for me, which is the last point that I wanted to cover in this video, is that um, right now there's really two big shifts. Number one, actually three big shifts. Number one, this is going to give me the space, the mental energy, the resources to go all in on the coaching business. But there's a big piece missing. If I'm no longer involved in a done for you agency model, how can I know exactly what's working? How can I know exactly what's happening in the space, in the industry? So there's actually two big updates. Number one, we just launched an entire done for you division as part of the coaching so that I'm still practicing what I preach. I'm still running ads. I'm still figuring out how to get appointments. I'm just doing it for other agencies. And this is going to allow me to keep my finger on the pulse and be very clear on what's working right now and what isn't working right now. And to be honest with you guys, one of my big hesitations with selling is that I was going to lose that touch with what's working right now. And I'm sure you've seen a lot of my done for you posts and stories. And this is why we launched an entire done for you division, because now I'm going to have my finger on the pulse even more so than before, because now I'm working with multiple different niches. I'm working with multiple different offers and we're doing multiple uh, different ads, funnels, and strategies. For example, now we're offering not just ads, we're also offering appointment setters that are gonna do outreach for you. And then the last piece, one of my business partners on the coaching side, his name is Sergio Tavares, amazing guy. He runs a roofing marketing agency that does seven figures. And I'm gonna be helping him more closely on that so that I can really, really, really keep my finger on the pulse in terms of what is working. So. 
that's pretty much it. Those are my next steps. I'm going all in on one company. I'm killing everything else. We're launching a done for you division. I'm gonna be supporting Sergio with his agency and consulting him on that agency. And that's pretty much it. So as of right now, moving forward, I'm no longer the owner of Atlas Digital. I'm super excited. I'm super honored. And I'm just really looking forward to seeing what comes next. So I see this as a massive blessing. I also see it like I can check a box on my entrepreneurial resume. I never sold a business before. And uh, when you guys see what Atlas Digital is doing, don't connect it back to me. And uh, when you see what I'm doing, don't connect it back to them. So right now, this moment, you're watching this video, we are fully separate. And uh, with that in mind, comment below any questions that you have. Or actually, if you enjoyed this video, drop a comment below. Make sure to like, make sure to subscribe. It really helps us out if you subscribe and turn on notifications. With that in mind, I'll see you guys on the next video.